in my estimation, there are three types of down. There's the crawl, where the dog crawls forward and goes into the drop. There's the plop drop, where the dog just plops straight down. His front feet will move underneath him, but he remains in position. And then there's the concertina, where the dog folds backwards like a lounge chair and comes and ends up in a sphinx position. Now, um, with the new command discrimination, it's more important than ever that your dog remain in place. So, you want to either have your dog doing the plop drop or the concertina. The concertina, as I said, being the more desirable. Uh, the crawl is the least desirable because the dog can move so far forward that he would be out of position by a body length and actually NQ, which you don't want to have. So I'm going to demonstrate each of the three um, types of drops and then I will show you how to teach the concertina. Okay, this is Devon, and in order to um, show you the crawl, I'm going to use a, a treat to lure him into it because um, I, he doesn't know how to do that. So, for the crawl, the dog will leave that position and move forward into the down. Down. Good boy, that's your down. Good boy. Yay! Okay, now the plop drop is when the dog flops straight down. His legs, front legs will move forward, but he will remain in position. This is a highly acceptable type of drop um, and probably is the one taught the most because do most people teach their dog to drop the head and bring it straight down and say down. And you'll see how his front feet came forward. Let's do that again. Stand, okay, down. See how his front feet came forward, but he remained in posi position. So that is acceptable. That's what I call the plop drop. It just plops straight down. The concertina down is where the dog folds backwards. His front, front feet will not move. They will, will remain stationary and he will end up in a sphinx position. Devon, down. Beautiful, good down good boy okay touch yay for you that was good of us spin you want oh sneezers huh sneezers okay. in order to teach the concertina down i use a pvc box it's just some pvc with two elbows um the width is you want it wide enough for your dog to fit in but not a lot of wiggle room so that he can't flip to the left or right with his hips. Uh, the length is not that important. It's that you have some type of barrier for two purposes. One, so that the dog won't step over it. it his front feet will remain in position. And secondly, it's what I call a dipstick. It tells you whether your dog is doing it correctly or not. Because if those feet do come over the front bar, you'll know your dog has not done a concertina. Um, so this helps keep both the dog and you honest. In order to do it, I walk my dog into it. Devin, in your box. Good. Now, you want the front feet very close to that front bar. The reason being, you don't want him to have any wiggle room, enough room to move those feet. When I'm first teaching this, generally with a puppy, I will have a cookie in my hand under my thumb so that my dog is seeing the palm come at him, which is his signal for the drop. I will do three things simultaneously. I will step in, I will give a verbal, and I will give a signal. So it would look like this. I'm standing in front, down. Good down, good boy down, good boy. Stand, Devin, stand, good boy. I'll do it one more time. So I do three things all at once. I step in, This. the reason I step in is to block, help him succeed. I wanna block any desire of his to come forward out of that box. 
You're drooling, baby. <laughs> we don't usually use cookies anymore. Um, so that's why the foot's there. It's to help him succeed and not come forward. Later, I will not step in, of course. But initially, when I'm training it, I want my dog to succeed and so learn. So again, three things all at once. I will step in, I will give a verbal, and I will give a hand signal. Down. Good boy, down. That's your down. Excellent boy. Yay for you. I'm going to give him that cookie before he gets the whole park wet. Yeah, that was good. Good, good, good. Now, it's very important that when you guide your dog into the concertina, the head is level and you're guiding him back towards his tail. You're not taking his head to the ground. You're using his spine to help him fold straight backwards. If your dog is resisting it, what you can do is take your thumb with your non-signal hand, for me it's my left hand, put it under the collar and the hand alongside his shoulder to help guide him. I'm going to guide him straight back, not down, straight back. So again, it will look something like this. My hand's under his collar, my fingers are pointing straight back towards his butt end. I've got my cookie under my thumb. I'm going to step in and I'm going to say down and I'm going to help guide him with my hand. Now I'm not pushing, I'm guiding. That's very important. If you push they're going to resist. You don't want to push. Stand babe. Good boy. I'm going to push. No. <laughs> Come on. In here. I know. The cookie has him overwhelmed. He's not accustomed to a cookie. So again, let me show you. I'm going to put my left hand under his collar. I have a martingale on him. My fingers alongside against his shoulder, flat against his shoulder. I'm going to say down and guide him back with the collar and the head level, straight level, guiding him, pushing him back towards his tail. You ready? Two, three, you get that. Oh, get that. Yay. Come here, honey. <laughs> Now, there, I'm going to gradually get further and further away from my dog until I'm about 50 or 60 feet away. Once my dog is reliably doing the concertina do, uh, drop in the box at 50 or 60 feet, I will take the box away. I might put um, a leash in front of him, a ribbon in front of him, something in front so that I know whether he's done it or not. Uh, it's not for him at that point. Uh, I want to show you what it looks like. For the sake of the video, I'm going to be fairly close here. But I want to show you what it looks like without the box there. Good boy down. Good boy. Stand. And you'll see how he unfolds. His feet do not, his front feet do not move. Beautiful. You are so good. Wait. You are just so good. Ready, steady. Get that. Oh, you get that. Come on. Yeah, that was good. Pass.